Om Shanti. We are here with 21st of January's God Blessing. Supreme Father wants our thoughts to be very powerful. And he wants our thoughts to become practical. So he says, may you be an enlightened soul who makes the seed of each thought constantly powerful. Seed of each thought. So even thoughts are like seeds. They're the first karma, the first level of karma which we do. Together with listening to knowledge and speaking knowledge, which we do, like I'm listening to knowledge and I'm also speaking this knowledge. So God has got a guidance for me and guidance for you also. Also become an embodiment of knowledge. That means an embodiment of knowledge means to be one whose every thought, word and deed is powerful. That means if I'm talking about this vardhan or this blessing with you, then I have to practice it myself too. So every thought, word and deed is powerful and for whom all waste has finished. That means I don't have any wasteful thoughts towards anyone, towards myself, towards the Brahmin family, towards the world, towards anything which I want in this life because that is not I want. It should be converted to what God wants. Then it is powerful thought. Where there is power, there cannot be anything wasteful. Just as light and darkness cannot coexist, some people think that there is hell and heaven right now itself. If you are rich, then you are you are powerful if you are healthy if you're rich then you are powerful and then you are in heaven but that's not the case so god says just as light and darkness cannot coexist so light means heaven darkness means hell light means pure thoughts divine thoughts darkness means impure thoughts evil thoughts so knowledge is light and waste is darkness therefore an enlightened soul means one whose every seed of thought is powerful that means pure and divine the words Deeds and relationships of those whose thoughts are powerful easily become powerful. The words, deeds and relationships of those whose thoughts are powerful easily become powerful. So, in order for us to become powerful, our thoughts, words and deeds have to be powerful. And how do we make them powerful and pure and remove the waste or the weeds, let's say, from the seed of thoughts? Because when you plant your seeds, then you have got weeds around it. And similarly over here, when you plant pure thoughts, you have got wheat, wheatful thoughts. That means you got negative, impure thoughts, doubtful thoughts, which we need to remove so that we become powerful. That is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. Do visit the Brahma Kumaris center nearby you for this Om Shanti.